Philanthropy has regained prominence. Some of the world's wealthiest people have recently been observed donating large sums of money to a group of diverse charities. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. For this video, we will discover how much Mackenzie Bezos spent on charity after divorce. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss our videos. Without any further ado, let's hop on right to the video. Jeff and Mackenzie Bezos broke records with the world's largest divorce settlement. Mackenzie Bezos, now Mackenzie Scott, said on July 28 that she has spent the time since attempting to create a far more inspiring record for how quickly she can give the money out. When the couple divorced in 2019, they were splitting the world's greatest personal fortune, estimated at $145 billion at the time. In April 2019, the couple announced a settlement in which Jeff Bezos received 75% of his Amazon fortune, and Scott received $35 billion, making her the world's third richest woman at the time of the announcement. Mackenzie Scott said that she has given away another $2.74 billion of her enormous fortune. Scott lambasted the wealth gap in a blog post announcing the gifts to 286 organizations, saying it had concentrated disproportionate wealth in a small number of hands. Scott and her philanthropic team are attempting to give away a fortune that was enabled by systems in need of change, according to her. According to Bloomberg Billionaires Index, Amazon.com's quick rise has helped boost the fortunes of both Scott and Bezos, with her ex-husband's fortune of about $200 billion making him the world's wealthiest person. Mackenzie Scott, the 22nd richest person on the planet, is worth about $60 billion. The gifts follow Scott's announcement in December that she had donated $4.2 billion of her money to organizations including food banks and educational institutions. Smaller businesses generally failed due to the pandemic lockdowns and other restrictions, whereas Amazon.com stock skyrocketed during the pandemic as people moved their purchases to the online shop. Scott's riches, like Bezos's, are based on the performance of the e-commerce company stock, which has increased by more than 30% in the last year. Any wealth is a product of a collective effort that included them, Scott wrote in her blog post of people she says struggle daily against inequities. The social structures that inflate wealth present obstacles to them, and despite those obstacles, they are providing solutions that benefit us all. Scott's donation comes after ProPublica published an explosive study last week revealing that some of the wealthiest Americans, including Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos, investor Warren Buffett, and Tesla CEO Elon Musk pay very little federal income tax as a percentage of their overall wealth. Between 2006 and 2018, Bezos paid $1.4 billion in personal federal taxes on his $6.5 billion in reported income. But his overall fortune, which is mostly made up of Amazon shares, climbed by $127 billion, according to ProPublica. According to the investigative news organization, based on confidential IRS reports, this equates to a true tax rate of 1.1%. Scott said she and her team spent the first quarter selecting equity-oriented, non-profit teams working in areas that have been neglected in order to secure her latest donations. Those areas are higher education, organizations that bridge religious and ethnic divides, arts and cultural institutions, groups that empower women and girls, and groups that support community engagement. Nonprofits such as the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theatre, American Indian College Fund, Chinatown Community Development Center, El Paso Community College, and Museo de Arte de Puerto Rico are among the almost 300 organizations listed at the end of her blog article. A total of $40 million will be distributed to the University of Central Florida and the University of Texas at San Antonio. According to Reverend Alvin Herring, the nonprofit Fate in Action's executive director, Scott's gift will drive the organization's work for years to come. He wouldn't say how much the present was worth, but he did say it was in the millions of dollars. Scott stated in her blog post that the charities will be permitted to spend the funds as they see fit. There are no strings attached, Herring said of the gift, which he claimed will help the 50-year-old group support its member organizations working on problems such as gun violence, healthcare, immigration, and voting rights. He also mentioned that the program focuses on developing leadership abilities for women of color. Herring went on to say that he agreed with Scott's assessment of the problems that rising inequities are causing, that so many in this country have so little, and so few of so much. That distorts people's notion of their value. It distorts our democracy. It is a poison, and it is a cancer that has to be addressed," he said. Scott's multi-million dollar donation will benefit Native Americans in philanthropy, a recipient that connects generous organizations with Native American-led NGOs in their efforts to increase financing to tribal communities, according to a statement. 
In a statement, Eric Stegman, the group's executive director, stated, Mackenzie Scott has recommitted to transformative work, the organizations that execute it and the leaders whose ideas are frequently underfunded and disregarded. It's also worth noting that she simply signed checks to these organizations, putting her own interests aside and handing over authority to the organizations she funds. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.